Hi guys, welcome back to Cam's Tech Talk and uh, today we are going to be the next chapter of Experience Cloud. As you are already aware, I have done multiple sessions, online sessions as well as live sessions where I've spoken to many professionals on Experience Cloud and uh, we covered the topics like what is Experience Cloud, what the certification part will be and what is the uh, the licensing okay so experience cloud the previous name was community cloud when I passed it was community cloud but obviously I've done the maintenance exams and everything so it I'm, I'm by default experience cloud consultant too right okay that's exciting I always love it so now this chapter the focus is how to enable experience cloud sites it's going to be a practical guys and how it works what are the challenges and what is out of box functionality can give you the, as a visibility of experience cloud and how the portal looks like okay so stay tuned i will be start the session soon from here onwards and get ready guys cheers everyone cam is coming see ya right guys welcome back again welcome back to cam's tech talk for the experience cloud sites how to create a site and how we can configure it basically right so how to configure and how we can work right so let's start so here you can see my screen I have logged in to Salesforce and so on the tab number one I have Salesforce uh, homepage where you have all the standard objects and stuff and then you have a another tab which is Salesforce setup okay and I am going to type simply experience or you can type digital as well. But let's start with experience and I am not getting look anything right now. I'm hitting the settings and look, look at the difference because I haven't created anything and it's just asking me enable a digital experience. So this is this is actually a new way of saying it because I used to create create community but no. Not anymore. Enable the digital experience because I am going to create a collaboration site for my clients to jump in and talk to me. Guys, don't forget to watch the previous sessions, guys. It's going to be very helpful and this will make sense to you. What is the difference and why I'm calling portal, why I'm calling digital portal, why I'm calling community and why experience. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so guys, this is a this is kind of a very live environment. I'm not doing any editing on it. Guys, I will make mistake, keep in mind, but stay tuned, we all make mistakes. So let's learn it. Domain name. So let's say I'm gonna call this maybe um, CSO, right? And so CSO, and I'm gonna call CSO1, let's say customer service operation one. Okay, this is my shortcut way of saying it. Um, obviously, this is a part of my this domain and if I check the availability, it's going to be available um, But yeah, it can be unique. So if you are rolling out multiple sites So for example, do you have something similar to monkey service? Maybe you are generating a lot of service for your client and you want to create a survey site guys keep it that will be your old customer. You have a complaint system, you can create a separate complaint site. You can create a HR site for internal guys, you can call it a company name, my company HR, right? That will be your internal. You can call it whatever name you want to call it or you want to create with your own domain, you can call it with your own domain because normally what happened is, right now I can see it's a developer edition, but normally in a real world, in production, in sandboxes, when you buy a proper licensing and, and live environment, you will have your own domains, okay? So that's the difference. This is a developer environment, so keep in mind, this is a very, very important and crucial step when you're solutioning or when you're planning. And this is actually good for business analysts. So guys, when you're talking to the business, this can be a very good demo. You can share this video to them guys to show because every business stakeholders, they need to understand what are we going to build, right? Your, your senior people, management people, they need to know what are we going to build and how it's going to look like it. So here is the answer. Okay, now let's go to save and I'm going to hit save. And it's rolling, come on and experience is created okay 
So successful message is here, digital experience here. Now I'm getting the new button. So let's try one more time. I'm gonna type experience one more time here and let's see what I get. Also experience, okay? Um, I'm gonna go very slowly so we understand all what's happening. Look, look how much options I am getting now. So before it was all empty, but now I'm getting tons of options, right? So roles, user settings. So number of customer roles, number of partner roles, you know, I can define here. So guys, I talk about licensing. We talk about partner roles, we talk about sharing rules, we talk about customer community, external apps. So guys, these are the things needs to be careful. Okay, this is a starting point, don't get confused. So this is where we define some roles, not all. How many we need to want, you can define. Make sure you read through this before you create any other levels, okay? So anyway, in short, I have got so many, right? Link expired. So this basically, this is, <laughs> this is a certification question. It came to me as well. Uh, new user email setting. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm enabling any user on community cloud or experience cloud site, how long we want to keep that link is, you know, expiry date for that link, seven days, one day or 180 days. I think the standard practice is seven days, but again, it's up to your organization, how you want to set up and what you're doing. You can change accordingly, okay? Um, enable account relationship, enable external account hierarchy. It's it's up to you because this is mainly like, this will be for the partner ones. So when I say partner ones, it's, uh, you know, like we have uh, customer community, customer community plus, partner community, and we've got channel account, right? So it's up to us how we want to configure it. If it's a customer community, you don't need this. But if it's a partner community, you need this, right? Okay, so I'm going to keep everything simple. So here you can define your sharing rules, sharing tools or anything. So guys, I have got many options, okay? Let's save it for now as a default, not making any more changes. So here it is. Let's create something now. Go back to the setting, right? And uh, where is my new button, by the way? I said I did. I thought I have it. So let's check it again. So I am going to experience, guys. Experience. Aha, there you go. All sites. Now it comes everything. So I have got all sites, I've got pages, I've got settings, I've got templates, and I've got themes. It wasn't there, right? Excited? Right, I'm really excited. Whenever I create this community sites, it's actually another level of excitement for me. <laughs> but anyway, so look guys, I hit new. Right, let's create something today and you're gonna love it. I'm sure you're gonna love it. It's, it's actually a, I like it. <laughs> so come on Salesforce, you're sometimes very slow. Uh, maybe a Saturday, there is some maintenance ongoing or it's a developer environment. Ah, oh, there you go. Sweet thing, again, exams. They always talk about the templates. So guys, this is where I decide what do you want? Am I creating build your own lightning web, uh, you know, platform, build your own B2C? Do you, are you creating customer services? Are you creating customer account portal? Help center, case management, def. help center is all about knowledge base, sorry, not case management, it's knowledge, right? Then customer service standard, it's case management, right? Then customer account portal, you know, like you got, so these are all, all standard templates provided by Salesforce, but again, you have further tabs. You can create Salesforce tab plus Visual Force. Visual Force never leave us. It's gonna be there. I don't know how long it will take, but yeah, there was a plan to get rid of Visual Force in 2021. I heard it, but never gonna happen easily. It's it still works, and a lot of things still happening. So guys, let's create customer service because I called it customer service portal. Okay. So let's do a branding later on, but I'm not gonna touch the whole branding, but let's just create a site. So I said my site will be CSO1 and I'm gonna call it customer, uh, customer service operations, aha. So it's gonna pick up that name as well. I'm gonna call it junior name like CSO because that was a domain and this is my this and Shall I call this? Um, let's do it, it's fine, it's fine. It's just the naming, it's my test names. But this, when you're solutioning it, guys, this is, focus on it, keep the right names, okay? That's gonna be helpful, right? <laughs> Show this video, talk to people, right? And when you're naming, naming convention is very important when you're creating these things, okay? But if you have seen this video once, you know what you're gonna do, okay? 
So, there you go. And not long now, it's coming, it's coming. It won't take more than 10 seconds or 20 seconds, but sometimes be patient. Um, all right, guys, come on. Right, and, but I will skip uh, when we do it. <laughs> I will play a play trick, okay? So in the meantime, let's open a new tab and I will go back to the settings while this is working. And what I'm gonna type again is experience. And experience and all sides. Again, let's see if I have something in place. Aha, uh -huh. no, it's still happening. So Salesforce is still taking time. And experience one more time. And what I'm gonna do now, let's, uh, let's walk through some themes and let's walk through the pages. I'm going to open multiple tabs, guys, and aha, even my site is available, but let's have a look a couple of things. So I don't have any themes yet. I haven't downloaded. I don't have any pages yet as well. I haven't created anything, but ta -da! I love that. Right. Customer service operation is here, right? Where you can see, you got builder, you got moderation, you got content management, you got gamification, you got dashboards, administration, and guide setup. So guys, this is what you need to learn, right? You can admin, um, configure the, you know, what, who needs what permissions, who needs visibility. It all depends on communities and, uh, you know, the, how many profiles you have. What's so guys, you can see you can see this profile page at the minute where you can see multiple profiles and uh, where I have uh, the login user, customer plus community, customer user, and you also have a gold partner and you have high volume and everything, right? So if you have seen my licensing uh, video already, you will see what exactly I'm talking about and how is this helpful, right? Again, I'm going to touch base the uh, the admin part because that's actually something very important uh, when you're building. So number one, you have to activate. Once you create it, you have to activate the site, right? You can change the template if you want to change. You have option there. And then you have a preferences, uh, you know, guest user related. These are all. So guys, you do get questions from this page a lot, right? It's it's actually a very brief thing. You. I don't think it's easy for me to cover everything in one go because it's huge. Actually, it's huge, right? So be careful with it, <laughs> right? Okay, so here is very important when I'm talking about the profiles. So it clearly says what profiles, what permissions, who's going to have a look. So guys, as you know, Salesforce standard, you can save, you can create your custom profiles. So guys, if you have created custom profiles as for licensing, you can make this site is visible to this person. This site is visible to this person. You can go up to 100 different sites for 100 different level of users, right? So now, next step, I will cover how to activate the users, how to make a common contact as a user for this stuff, how to create profile, how to assign a profile, how to assign a permission, how to assign a object, I will cover these things into my next chapter, guys. So stay tuned. This chapter was how to create, what exactly in there, what are the steps, what needs to be considered when you're creating. So we cover it all, right? I will set up this next session for especially the profiles, permissions, user setup, and uh, the difference between contact and a user and why the contact and account has a, has a very good role when we're creating these things. All right, guys, so I hope you like it and I'm sure we're going to get in touch and stay tuned. And, and that's it for today. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Chase.